Happy Valentine's Day! This week features one of my favorite Draculas and someone Dracula adjacent. I bid you welcome to This Week in Horror, February 14th through 20th. Here is what's up with horror this week. On February 16th, 1922, Nosferatu premiered and has been frightening moviegoers and Blu-ray collectors ever since. Don't think Orloff is Dracula adjacent? Tell that to Florence Stoker! Max Schreck, the actor who portrayed the iconic Count Orloff in Nosferatu, passed away on February 20th, 1936. Jack Palance was born on February 18th, 1919. Palance made a career of playing frightening tough guys, but I'll remember him fondly as Dracula in Dan Curtis's Dracula. I thought he was terrifying as the Count. This week in Dark Shadows, we visit Collinwood Circa, episode 432 from February 1968. Back in 1795, Barnabas gives quite a fright to old Aunt Abigail Collins. Abigail would rather die than think Angelique was a witch. Witches, witches everywhere! Everyone is always talking about witches! In TV news, Amazon has announced they will be adapting the horror comic book Witches into an animated series. The classic horror series written by Scott Snyder with art by Jock published by Image Comics, will be coming to a prime video screen near you. This one sounds like a winner. In horror comics, the January-February 1951 issue of EC Comics' The Haunt of Fear contained the story A Biting Finish, where Bruno, running from the law for murdering his romantic rival, ends up running into his skeleton in a cavern underneath the cemetery. Pretty good story, a little repetitive, but old Bruno gets what he deserves in terrific EC fashion. And in horror music news, keep an eye out for Jeff Whitmire's next album, Stabby Road. Looking forward to that when it drops. And finally, on Saturday, February 18th, Svenguli is airing Duel from 1971. Duel follows a businessman driving through the California desert who gets chased by a semi. It's an early directorial debut by Steven Spielberg and written by Richard Matheson. Duel is fronted by Dennis Weaver, who nails this role. And that is This Week in Horror.